Hello and welcome to another episode of Han Bin's BMW DTM race car. And today we're going to focus in this nice little corner of the like front lip of the BMW. So it's a fairly simple corner, I think, but I think there's a lot of lessons here if maybe this is something that would be really difficult for you, right? Um, because I do know that, you know, a lot of people are in different levels and I figured just this quick, like, you know, a bunch of fillets and different surfaces coming together and converging and how I approach that to get this sort of like end result, you know? And, uh, and let's just remember it's a, it's a tiny little front lip you know, it's probably either going to be black or, you know, maybe like a dark plastic. But the point is, we're not going to spend too much time on it. But um, I do think that there's a lot of like things to learn. So we're going to work our way from the top and then move and then slowly move our way down. So I'm just going to add a fillet between these two surfaces. And I'm trying to get a size that's just a little bigger than that top fillet that it's mostly, you know, related with, right? Because those two surfaces are touching. So then I'm going to isolate that top fillet and then I'm going to connect them and then I'm going to use this surface to align it to the back grill surface, you know, and then this way um, my grill and the back facing of, uh, of, you know, these openings are all nice and closed up. And then later when I want to develop a grill there, it's a lot easier for me, you know, so this, this I always try to. I always try to, you know, whenever you're building like a lower fascia or any opening like that, always try to close it up, even if, you know, it's not really necessary, you know, uh, because then later in life, it's going to be difficult for you to like, you know, figure that out. So here I'm just kind of like projecting and trimming it and just keeping it as clean as I can for, for like this moment. So now I want to use this surface I made with the fillet tool to sort of push that radius all the way through, right? So I'm going to isolate them. I'm gonna make sure that they're positional, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna build a curve there, and then another curve on the other edge, and then I'm gonna project them. I'll change the angles a little bit, project them, and then trim. And then I'm gonna use my blend curve to make a make a curve between them, and then just skin that. And um, and then that kind of gets me close enough. But um, but then I, I quickly just in case if I didn't if they weren't curvature I isolate them again and then I use my align tool to make sure that I have curvature there because you know since we're building and going all the, like from the top to the bottom it's really important to try to make it as clean as possible right here I isolate that bottom surface and then I trim it using the insert tool and then here I'm using the rail tool to sort of like you know make that sort of like underside of the surface. So now I'm trying to figure out how I can move all those like, you know, radiuses further down, right? So I'm like, okay, how am I going to move this little strip down this, right? Okay, so I know that at that edge, at that point, it's not going to be anything, right? So I can sort of trim out this little area, right? That way we still keep those angles. And, um, and then usually most of the time in this sort of condition, if you see, I would do the trim convert tool, but it doesn't work in this one because I'm, I'm actually using the three-sided like NURB you know, so it doesn't really doesn't really work. You know how when you skin something, if it reaches one point, it um it doesn't you know it causes all these errors, and that's sort of what happened. But instead of rebuilding it, what I did is I just trimmed it out, and then I duplicated those edges, and then that gave me a curve network I could use to you know build that little corner right, and then now I could take I could take that curve edge and then connect it to the middle. And I want you guys to pay close attention to how I clean up. The other end of this so if you see here I kind of noticed how the bottom surface isn't lined up right so first thing I'm gonna do is grab that rail surface I did and then I'm gonna intersect it with those with the other surfaces and then I'm gonna do a trim convert just to make sure that the surface is just really easy to use right and then I'm gonna do the same thing with that bottom surface I'm gonna extend trim convert and then I'm gonna extend it back so that it's much more, you know, in line with everything else, you know. So I just quickly change that angle, and now I don't need this surface. And I now I change that curve to make all my surfaces sort of like just all meet in the same spot, you know. If you notice, I'm just slowly building and you know, kind of like like solving my issues as I go along, you know. So whenever you have all of these sorts of difficult problems, just slowly just take it step by step, like how I'm taking it, right? So here I start adding the outermost like fillet, right? Because a whole bunch, all those points are going to meet up to it. And honestly, maybe if I would have done that first, I would have built the top differently. But obviously at this point, I'm, I'm just kind of going as fast as I can. And, you know, I'm just trying to kind of, you know, uh, 
tackle my problems as they get here, right? Here, I'm just kind of looking at that outer edge and how it's not it's not touching, right? So I'm like, okay, it's not it's not supposed to go there. I know that it needs to sort of go from that edge and touch the middle of that surface, right? So I just add a curve right there. And then on the main surface, I insert a curve on surface and then trim out the rest of the stuff and then trim convert that stuff, right? So in here, I could just align it and um, and then now I'm getting closer and closer to you know uh, something that that I you know now I now I solve that like outer edge and now I'm like okay now I have to solve the this pointy this pointy end right it's too far forward. So I take the same approach as the other side right first I trim out the surface you know and then I can kind of be like okay so what's next then I grab I grab that surface and I just simplify it because I'm just gonna grab that lower CV and then just bend it forward, right? That way, that way it's a little more isolated, you know, every, all that movement. And, and now I have even an even easier sort of like platform to work with, right? And then here, as you see, there's a little bit of disconnect. So might as well just extend it out and make sure that they're all touching. And then now I have another plane on that side that I could build later. And I'm slowly, slowly solving this, right? Uh, I quickly uh, add an um, uh, uh, insert and then a blend curve on the bottom lip and just quickly surface the bottom side of this front lip. So now, as you see, I'm slowly starting to make my life a little easier, right? Now, I just have this little gap to fill. So I'm just going to use my rail tool, make sure that the generation is on curvature. And then um, if it's already good enough for me, because it's going to get trimmed out anyways, um, then I could just use the, uh, the other edge, project it out, and then cut it, right? So, so, so now that edge is sort of done. And then here, I'm just going to quickly add, add some curves here and then just surface this little corner as a square because at that outer edge, I know that the fillets are just going to eat it up. So, um, so there, now I have another, like this is like the, the, next, the next point, right? When I start adding even more fillets. So as we get to this next section, let's let's keep in mind that we're also just being very loose with it, right? We don't we're not caring too much if we really reach curvature or even tangency as long as it's kind of relatively good, right? So um, here I'm just adding a, a little fillet that kind of like goes through both of them, right? And they're all the same size. And then once I paint them, I'm gonna do like I, I do this a lot in my videos, right? Where I make the fillets on either end of them, and then I skin those fillets, and then I project them, and then this way it keeps all of my corresponding surfaces connected with each other, right? So here's here's where I, I skin them. There's this is where I project align them, and then that way it's all nice and clean. And you know that's sort of like a quick way of how I, I do all that stuff, right? Now I want to sort of like finish off this corner of the fillet, right? So I'm going to untrim that, grab that corner, retrim it, and then just to get that curve right there. And then I'm going to extend this trim surface. And then that gives me one of those like little squares in the corner. And I'm just going to use my square tool to, you know, uh, um, surface that, make sure that we get, we set the, 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 we make the settings for curvature. And, um, and, but to me, this is, this is more than enough, you know, once I, I do a little bit of CV manipulation to make it a little more curvature, but that's such a tiny corner that I don't care too much about it. I do like to check though how the highlights are are going through it, you know. So I always use this like kind of you know shader and just make make sure that there's nothing too crazy, you know. And then once I'm kind of happy with it, I, I go to the next side, and I want you guys to pay attention on how I make this fillet into a variable fillet, and then I'm ch I'm making a taper just a bit towards the end just so I could get closer to the condition it was uh, on the on the opposite side of the fillet, right? That way I could use the same curve. And to me, if, um, you know, if you keep all of the, you know, if fillets are reaching the same point and, you know, and and then you're starting other fillets on top of them, that's always, the, the, the more everything is consistent with each other, the cleaner everything is gonna be, right? So here I just quickly move the last CV so that it's connected with the other one. And then now I can use that same curve I did for the, for the opposite side of this surface. And, um, and then that way everything is as clean as I, I can get it for, for this like sort of situation, you know? Now the only thing left is to make a fillet, right? So I kind of like kind of go through the process. First, I'm gonna just go straight up fillet, see what happens, right? Um, and that's a little too big. So I lower it to 10 and then I realize that's way too big in general. So I lower it to five. And then on the corners, I put edge align, right? Which it, it's, it's okay, 
but then once it get close right it has this sort of error okay so i'm like okay i don't want that i have to either rebuild it or what if i change the interior to connect and that doesn't i mean it it gets it better but it's not good right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do two actions first i'm gonna do the fillet on one side and then the fillet on the other side and i'm gonna make it connect in the end and then i'm gonna isolate them use my blend curves you know basically build a little mini surface in there make sure that they're curvature and then on the sides i'm gonna use project a line and then that's basically gonna get me a nice little clean fillet there and there we're done with like the majority of our you know little sculpture here and i'm just kind of like looking at it you know with the with the different shaders see if i like it see if there's any like weird undulations but to me everything is pretty all right um here i'm just trying to add a fillet but instead since i already have a corner i'm just going to insert it but i don't like how that angle is towards the bottom so instead of that i'm gonna i'm gonna add a curve and just change that angle a little bit and then project it and then i'm gonna use um, a blend curve in that corner and then surface that up and then now i have a little inside corner and then that's it we surfaced this little corner you know all it took was uh you know uh, 20 minutes basically you know fast forward uh into two times so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know, I kind of wanted to show you guys the full model for a little bit so you could kind of, you know, see where we're at. Um, the next video is going to be basically just this little corner. It'll be another quick little 10 minute video. Um, and then after that, we'll probably start moving on to the body side. I do apologize for all the um, time it's taking me. It's just that uh, I do. I still work during all of this. Um, I'm still working for Ford and and they keep me busy but when i do find some time off um especially in this time i try to you know do some of these so um you know hang tight um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned a, a, some good lessons and um and yeah I, I hope you guys have a nice day remember to stay safe okay